Morning, sunny day here in beautiful Cornwall. Um, just going to look at something today. This is uh, following on a question from someone. Somebody asked me, why has this painting got these lines that you can see um, sort of in the background to the actual painting? And uh, for some people, this would be, you know, you might be thinking, oh, well, that's, that's really obvious why those lines are there. For other people, not so much. Uh, and this video today is all about how to lay out and uh, transpose your design, scale it up, scale it down, whatever, um, from an existing image onto a canvas. Often different ways in which to take an image to place onto a canvas. Um, one of the most common ways that we can do this is using tracing paper or a carbon copying paper. Uh, so for example here, little picture, nice little picture of um, Unsplash there um, of this girl uh, collecting flowers over in Japan or somewhere like that. Okay, really nice image. Um, quite a lot of detail here on the actual character in here not a lot of detail in the background so it really makes this stand out it's quite a nice picture and um started off with a few different printouts of that a bit more detail in some of those images and then we do something like uh, we take our tracing paper and this is one that's obviously been traced before so we place our tracing paper over the top of the uh, of the image okay and we draw around it we draw the key details on there and things like that um then we turn that over scribble on the back turn it back, place that onto a canvas. So we place that onto the actual surface of the canvas and draw around our existing lines to transfer them across the canvas. Now this can work, it can work quite well, um, but it doesn't always transfer very well to the canvas, particularly if you've got a very textured canvas, this can be a bit of a pain. Okay, you'll get very faint lines. You probably end up having to draw over the top of it anyway in order to get the detail that you need. Doing that sort of process, okay. So that's the, that's the image when it was finished and it did work quite well, but it's quite a lot of hard work to do that to get um, to get the initial print onto the actual paper. I've got my portrait that we want to use over here. And the idea is now that we're going to draw out our grid lines, our triangulated grid lines rather than our square grid lines. And then we're going to transfer it over to this uh, illustration board here um, for painting. Okay, we'll speed this up a bit, but this is how it works. Okay, so we divided up the image into four separate squares. And then uh, what we've then done is to subdivide those up into triangles. So we've got four triangles in each square. So this is the similar to doing this as a as a square grid, but look how fast that was. That took no time at all to do that. We can continue dividing this up to get more and more detail, to give us more and more reference lines in which to know how to draw each of these individual parts. So if I was drawing the eye, I now know that I'm on this side of this line and uh, I know how to draw it relative to everything else that's on the page. However, we need a bit more detail. So onward we go. This up again, as you can see, we've just taken those rectangles and divide them across to make four more triangles. And you can see we've got a lot more reference lines now in order to draw this uh, particular eye. And I could probably draw this quite accurately now onto my illustration board with this level of detail in terms of reference lines. Um, I'll carry on, do the other side. Then we'll do this section here around the mouth and then we should have enough detail then in order to be able to transfer this across. My image divided up, this is the one that I've just done. Um, I actually did another one as well, just, just in case I don't have enough uh, reference lines in order to actually detail all of this face onto my illustration board. I don't think I'm going to need this though. Right, so I'm going to transfer this onto my illustration board. Um, the most important thing, the thing that we've got to start off with uh, first, is we have to get the scale that we want. Now I want this as a one-to-one -one scale, which basically means that However big this uh, rectangle is here for my original drawing, this in initial 
layout. Uh, I want it exactly the same size on here. Now, if I was scaling my drawing up and I measured this rectangle, because there is a bit of measuring involved with this, if I measured this rectangle here, and let's say from this measurement across here, it was uh, 15 centimeters or six inches or some whatever, um, then I would double it if I wanted it twice as big. That would mean that all of these other reference lines would also double. Well, that's not a problem because I'm still using the same reference lines in order to draw these individual parts. So if this was twice as big, I just know that this part of the eye here to here is still going to go from this point on this reference line to these points on these reference lines. But it would just be that this distance would be twice as large. It would still be as easy to draw. And I'll do a little demo of that in a moment to show you. Um, but for, for now, I'm just going to start transferring across these lines, these reference lines, onto my board. Okay, so I've now got the same reference lines on this illustration board as I have on my original image. So what I would now do is I would go into here and I'm just going to do the eye for the moment. Um, we'll just show you how that would actually work. Okay, so let's place that over here. So I've got my references next to each other. So I'm looking, you know, where does um, this eye fit? So it's within this section here. So around about there, about halfway up and we can then start to draw this. So I wouldn't normally do this in pen, this is purely so it can be seen a bit easier on the camera. Okay, so we're going to go from there, we're going to go across, and it drops in just below this point here. So just doing this line there for a moment. Okay, and we go across to here. Again, because this is for a painting, it does not need masses of detail. These are just reference points in order to get the painting uh, proportion correct. Okay, so there, underneath here. Just on this side of that line. There we are. Probably get that little shine in there just to sort of help us a little bit later on with our painting. There we go. And we'll look at the eyebrow. So the eyebrow I will do as a block rather than doing individual lines. So we go into there, we then cut across to here. There to there, there to there. And then this sort of tapers off and blends out, blurs out at that point there. And across here, just crossing those two little divides there, and then blending out onto there. Also, put some detail at the bottom of the eye. So we've got this section here, which is already in. And then look a little bit lower down. So from about there, we've got this faint line that's going to come around and join the corner of the eye just there. And then this shadow, I probably will also put that in. So to there, going up a little bit beyond there, probably comes around something like that, and then travelling to that point there. So I've got my reference now for this particular eye. What I do, I'll put this corner of the nostril in, just because it's uh, it's easy to see, and that will give us a nice reference. So there we go. I'll carry on dropping these bits and pieces in and uh, we'll speed up the footage a little bit for you.
Thanks for watching the video though. If you uh, if you liked it, you found it useful, please give us a like and a subscribe if you wish as well. Uh, it's a brand new video on a brand new channel. This is the first video on that channel. The next video that we're going to be doing is to show how I would put the hair onto this particular uh, portrait here in oil. Uh, just one of the techniques that, we, that you, you could use. It might be useful for you. If you think that's going to be useful for you, please join us in the next video. Thank you very much.